features. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's fucking go! Not ban. Ban Yolne. I want to see. Let's let's see what happens to Aurora Yolne. I think Ziggs will be banned 100%. So Yolne already moved straight up first ban, which I like. I think it's a good adaptation. What do you do about Syndra here? Five ban against Lucid. Makes sense. The next on ban. Wow. So they are targeting 369, hoping he's gonna end. I think Tez actually found all of the like targeted all the important roles here. Nar, Vi, LeBlanc. Question is, what happens to Ziggs? Because Ziggs is still open. Rumble is banned out now. And I'm just saying, I believe that Damon will pick Ziggs if they can afford it. Is this Aurora against Ziggs trade? I think it might be. Well, we are definitely looking for team fights here. I don't think Tez is gonna ever play Ziggs because I feel like they need more. Uh, they already have the AP damage top. Or mid, actually. I guess they could like it. Aurora Nocturne is a good combo because you don't see where Aurora comes from. But I do not like Nocturne not much. Because, because Nocturne into super tanky team comps is a bit hard to play. Okay! Okay! That's new. Oh my god, Shomei consider that. Give it to me. Give it to me, boy. Give it to me. Oh, give me some... Probably... No! You paid it! I mean, that is a good pick, but I love Showmaker Syndra. Brom. Brom Ash, very powerful. Okay. Now Ziggs is OP. Yeah, now Ziggs is OP, guys. Ziggs against Brom Ash is insane. Now Ziggs is so OP. Now Ziggs is so, so OP. I just don't know if they are not too heavy on AP. But Ziggs against Ziggs. I mean, it's not Draven. Draven is trash. They are not going to pick Draven. Smolder is free scaling. Smolder could be good too. Okay, I'm starting a prediction. Smolder last week. I'm not sure about Aurora or Yana. But I feel like, honestly, Damon might be outscaling that as well. Let's go, boys! Damon against Tess. My prediction, Tess 2-0. So far, Tess has way better team fighting in the early game. But Tess gets really outscaled. I think better team fighting cop honestly goes to Damon when they get stacks. But they need to get stacks on Smolder and items on everybody else. So I do think that Tess has time. Tess has time to, to win this game, to carry this game, right? Question is, will they be able to do that? They need to snowball. They need to hard the guys. They need to go very hard early. They have Ash Brom. They want to dominate lanes. Enemy team wants to lane swap. Definitely, Damon wants to lane swap. But 369 picking Cassandra, not bad in a lane swap. I don't even know how mid lane matchup looks like, but I do think you probably want to uh, be around Cream so he can survive against Oriana. Oriana better. Okay, so Zinzao that way will not be behind. Normally, if you don't predict a swap, Jungle could be really behind. But this game, Jungle will not be behind because They're everybody very, very predicted talented, the swap. It is nowadays easy to predict the swap, of course, right? You know, when you have a Riot, HUD. Okay, we are back. And then Did they, they change the HUD a bit? Pull that game back and okay, Mohan got auto attacked once. You know, had better, maybe they could have even cleaned that up. So he's trying to not let Mohan walk under tower. Actually, wait, he's chunking him. That could be really big for the dive, guys. That does have HP rel. And she's already using her potions over Tian, but will this dive work out? Kingen has E and level 3. I think they should dive Mohan first, honestly. They really want to kill the Jax, not the support, though. Okay. Oh, Tian is flashing in. Tian is dead. Tian! Tian is trolling! 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 One for one so far. Bro, Tian went too deep, too quick. Way too far. And now King is under pressure. King is stunned. 369 Mako and Jackie Love. Okay, I think it's 369 who should tank this tower now. Oh, wait, Mako is tanking. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. What is going on? Yeah, Lucy, as you could see, would be like level 5 and 130 even after this game. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Lucy, 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 Lucy. Mohamed immediately. Mohamed, no, there's no counterplay to this drum. This drum is dead. Oof. 
Jackie love having to flash well and then Brom so dies anyway. Well played by Damon, really well played. Minus one. Four minutes until the next Jackie love and Mako are still way stronger to be too. Moham has to flash here. As the arrow from Jackie love immediately Moham's best out, champion by far ball. is this Rel. Wow! Look at that 2v2 trade, it's insane. This matchup 2v2 is so not playable, like so not playable. I don't think DK, DK should fight. I think DK at this point will still be weaker. This small there is really, really weak. And Cassandra at this point is quite unkillable. Cassandra is level 10 minutes, Iceborne Gauntlet. You don't kill this Cassandra anymore. Right now, Tess is spiking. Tess has a much, much, much better comp at this point of the game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, Damon is... Damon cannot take a fight right now, but they are losing so much. They will be losing six grabs, top tower. Sure, they might be able to get this tower, but they will lose so much tempo. 369 can read... Fanatic pause to talk about this lane swap. Yes, you messed up. Yes, it was not good. So right now Tess will be swapping back and Tess will be trying to play for this Drake slash for this bot tower. Tess currently is so, so much stronger than Damon that Tess wants to take every fight. If Tess does not snowball the game until 25, 26 minute mark and the gold will be around even, Tess will lose. Because Tess, Tess will just get out still. Oh, <gasps> static shift. Static shift plus HW clears the back like minions. Damn. Oh, well played. Oh, well played anyway, though. He and Moham honestly still feeling pretty safe underneath the tier one turret here. Even though Tien is around, that would be the proposition of. You know this bot tower. I think is still at two plates. There is the literally like one HP left on a plate. I think. Okay, they are committing to the tower. There is a TP from Showmaker. Showmaker could TP right now. Showmaker is TPing in. There is double TP right now happening. Well, is it, uh, but they don't see it. They don't see it. Jackalov doesn't see it. Jackalov doesn't see it. Look, he's gonna get ganked from behind. Oh, they see it now. Oh, but Tess is completely destroying them right now. Tingen is already running away. Showmaker is, is left alone here. How about Prevert if Tim would flash for it, which he didn't? Huge fight, really. Moham goes slightly too early. Showmaker is trying to clear the wave, which he did do, but he's gonna die. Kill goes to 369. You know, top esports is in good condition when 369 plays tanks. 369 carries are not that good. But whenever 369 locks in the tank, they will do well. That's kind of how you know. Tian could take it. Flew here from Australia. Yeah, Tian is taking it. Let's see if Lucid can ult Tian on the tower. He's not trying to. Kingen is here. Wait, there will be a fight, but can Tian ult? Can Tian ult? Can Tian ult? Tian is ulting. Oh, they will win this fight. Tess is gonna win this fight. Tess is gonna win this fight 5 before. They are actually gonna win this fight 5 before. Oh, it's so lost this game. Oh, it's so lost, guys. It's so lost. They just won a 5 before fight. They didn't have damage to kill Tian. He ulted in time. Tian, what do you mean Tian played that flawlessly? He literally got caught and then pressed R. What are you saying, bro? Commentators are Zaza. I think it was the Jack's back and then he uses It was literally lucky what he like he didn't die, he got caught, he didn't die, he pressed R. Look at Tian. Look at Tian, okay? He goes in with the head out. He gets engaged on after walking up. Okay. Then he's like not one shot. If he's one shot, that's it. But he's he's not one shot, so he gets to ult. Yeah, he played it flawlessly, bro. He's sitting 150 stacks as well now. So it's it's not high enough yet. Tian? Is he looking? King N? Wait, Jackie Love! Jackie Love is getting one shot, he has no flash still! Oh, but King is gonna die! Oh my god, this fight is gonna... Okay, Cream is dead though, Cream is dead, so he's one for him so far. I think Lucid, ha Lucid has ult, by the way, Lucid has ult, he could look for ult. Okay, flash for flash. 369 is not even part of this fight and they're still winning them. Okay, trading even when you're ahead is actually losing, but still. They can definitely to do enemy red buff in their face though. Whoa, Lucid! If Lucid gets caught here, that's a Nash. That's a Nash, guys. 
Lucy, the Lucy just gave Nash to NOT team. That, that is really bad. That was really, really bad. There's no reason to fight for this red buff. I'm not sure what they, he's doing. He's trolling so hard. I'm telling you, Damon is actually fraud. Damon is the fraud team. Damon got here because they beat uh, Fnatic and... Get a little bit of gold back for the team. And FlyQuest. I think Damon is fraud. Is likely to meet I think G2 is also going to win Damon the game if play. they meet. And you from three, six, nine. Once top esports was confident they weren't going to be challenged. Okay, I mean, they got two towers. Not only one, sorry. Cream has no wood right now. King and A is low key getting caught here. I feel like he's going to die. But he will buy plenty of time. Jax, do we get out of these? I'm not sure. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, he's dead, right? I mean, he has the. He's oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mako flashes over. The Counter Strike isn't going to block him. Yeah, he is. There's not, not much now. to be no done way. here. Not yet. Kingen is down. And, and now that Kingen is down, they have a lot of time to start pushing. If not, they'll play it slow for Nash. Yeah, I was flying. Misses. Well, they're happy to see that arrow miss. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, three six nine. I mean, the tower is getting chunked very slowly. It's having HP right now. All the four v four continues. Up if this arrow hits, lane. they could actually exit Alpha the arrow, but they could they though, could do something more. That was insane. Now, the job for DK gets very difficult. You check too far forward, you die. Cream is baiting. Cream is baiting. Cream is trying to be to be right, juicy. And lose it now. Like you know. Smolder ult uh, was was used to check the Nash order. And now there won't be Smolder ult for this Drake, which is pretty big. They will try to fight this. Okay. King is appearing from behind. Tess 369 is grouping. I think 369 is gonna just ult Skalner and they will secure it, no? Okay, 369 is actually marking the Jax. Oh! Lucid steals it! And Mohan goes in! And wait, Lucid actually gets... Bro, Lucid played this so fucking good! Holy shit, Lucid played it so insanely well! That's insane how Lucid played it. I don't know if they can still win this fight. Jackie Love is not that strong. They are so scared right now in this fight. Bobo, Rihanna and Smolder are still alive. Okay, now Lucid is going way too deep. He's gonna die. Okay, chat. The reason why... Tian couldn't smite is because of suppression, okay? Suppression makes you unable to smite. So Lucid ults Tian. Tian can't smite because of suppression. Lucid can still smite. You understand? Lucid played this so insane. Like, just look at how Lucid played it. It was so clean how he played it. He ulted Tian, smited away Drake, and then flashed on Cream to get him into the wall. It was so beautiful. Guys, it was so beautiful. Lucid played this fight so insanely well. And then he entered by the end of it. Wow. Wow. That was insane, man. And you can kind of watch Cream here at the top of the screen. You know, he's going to look for this angle. That is, that is just so insane. That, that is just like so insane, bro. The back line here. Well, on the other side, it's Kingen looking for the same thing. But Kingen is marked by 369. And watch this ulti only connecting onto Lucid. But Lucid immediately ease him into the wall, stuns him up. And Aiming is able to get a Q here, even with the heal and the flash coming out. That burn was still there to be able to finish him off. And it's from this point, as you say, Eddie, that the gold kind of starts to really show. For the next wave to arrive here in the top lane, objective bounty claimed in the bot lane at the same oh, time. Oh, Lucid is getting engaged on here. I think Tian, yeah, they, they can definitely dive this. Skyrim is oh, wait, 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 we have decent ult on, on Tian. Tian is still having flash. Wow, so she'll make a decent ult, but only on front line. This is not enough damage. Now King is alive, but is he really late? Can aiming do anything? Probably not. Kingan has no flash, so he's just pretending to be flashing in. 369 is gonna base and TP back mid. I think that would be two inhibitors. Kingan, he has stopwatch, he's not gonna instantly. Aiming is trying to do damage to Showmaker. <laughs> they still can't kill this Cassante. This Cassante is still alive. This Cassante is still alive. And he doesn't even die. This Cassante. Was I just can't die. Renekton on Rumble Band. This is looking like a NAR first pick, by the way. But NAR is banned, so maybe Jax first pick. Yone and Aurora both open. Ash ban. Okay, very good ban. Maokai. Wow. Yone open, guys. Yone Aurora open. What do we first pick? Yone Aurora. I think Yone is much better than Aurora. First pick Yone. 
And now the question is yes, enemy team will probably steal the Aurora away. Do you pick Aurora top and you pick Smolder into Yone? Okay, so they pick away the Skarner. Oh, Sejuani Jax! Yeah, they will for sure go Cassante. 369. 369 looked. Okay, he didn't look present in the fights. All the fights were without him. <laughs> but uh, he still had a good game on Cassante, especially the early game was very good for him. And Kaiser Aspic. I think this could be a lane swap again. I, I would not be surprised if that one lane swaps again. But they did end up pretty bad on the lane swap last time, so they the gotta fix it if they want to. Meiko? Wow! That's what wow, he actually lived that. That's crazy. That's actually crazy that he lives that. Holy shit, dude. Next round is down on G2. G G2. It could happen if G2 loses, but G2 can also win. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Moham went down the tower. Moham! Moham, what are you doing? Bro, I'm telling you, Damon is fraud. Okay, I'm gonna predict two things. First thing I'm gonna predict is Moham is not playing in Damon next year. Second, second thing I'm gonna predict, Damon is a bunch of frauds. Uh, cream, 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 cream is dead as well, actually. Oh, nice slow, but yeah, no way you're getting out. Well played. Be faster to bot lane now. Question is also which team. Question is also which team will play for void drops. Oh, the respect flash there and cleanse. I would not be surprised if Misfortune decides to lane swap now and open top lane. I really will not be surprised if Misfortune opens top lane. Yes, we have a lane swap on our hands, boys. After getting so destroyed by Jackie of Kalista, you have to run away. So he's just running away from him. Wait, Shomek is coming, level 6. This could be a good fight for Damon. Kim is late, Kim is late, Kim is late, Kim is late. And DK gets two grabbies. Oh my god, they engaged, but wait, wait, wait. This could still be good. Showmaker, ult, look at Showmaker. Yeah, they got Jackalov, they got Jackalov. Jackalov is already dead. Tian is going deep, but I don't know if he has the damage. He does have the damage. One for one so far. Tian, I don't think they have the damage to kill. Ah, no, Tian is out. Meiko should be out as well here. Aiming is trying to auto attack, but he's just not doing it enough. Wow, Moham is going in one for one. One for one there. Meiko is now going in. What is going on? Aiming's gonna die. What a fight. Three for three in total. Holy shit. What a long, long scrimmage. Goes back to the safety of the river. Ah, so! Bless me. Don't worry, Chad. I cannot infect you with what I have. It's just solo queue disease. You don't have anything to worry about. Skill issue isn't contagious. Actually, you got me good. Skill. Whoa! They are going on Jackie Rove and double summoner burned, but I think Mohan will be able to finish him off. Oh, one more auto. Really well peeled by Mako. Holy. HP back the of the Skill Guys, issue is not contagious. I can. He actually you cooked me so hard. Edge of the bullet time. Oh, King Gen. King Gen. Why did he Q there? Yeah, okay, 369 did not get him over the tower. To oh, Cassanted. That's how it goes with 369. Right now he's a 9. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Oh, Tian here! Tian here is 3 for 2 so far, but Jackalov is instantly dead, deleted by Deone. Oh, Tian gets a 3-man, but that doesn't matter, there's no damage. And that will be 3 for 3 in the gravity department. Oh my god, Avengers came for him! Avengers came for Showmaker! But Showmaker! Showmaker! Showmaker is just dead! Mohammed and Lucid are going deep here, trying to make sure that they can make Showmaker safe, but this word by Mako is very random, but it's very good. Mohammed is gonna get chunked here! I don't think they can kill him, can they, though? Have HP so far, he has no flash available. Cream is trying to damage to him, but the damage won't be enough. <gasps> they are turning on Cream, and Cream is dead! Cream got baited by Moham! And now Lucid is the one in trouble. 
Lucid flash is cues and safe. Nearly caught out there thanks to the Skarner ulti, but a flash into an Arctic assault. Wait now, Jackie Love is the one getting caught. Ken's available, but I think he will just die. One more shot to the head. Oh, Tien, 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 can he can he find the kill? Tien will find the kill. What a fiesta! What is going on? What an absolute cinema! Holy shit, it's even game. 7 to 7, 14 minutes in. Actual absolute cinema. And I do think that Kingen is gonna opt into getting bot tower instead of the being here. That being said, Shomaker has played! Maybe they can fight this. 3000. Is Lucid gonna look for a steal? Is Lucid gonna look for a steal? The steal happens! Lucid is insane! Steals another thing and now Showmaker is on the back line. But Showmaker is getting boosted down. He flashes out. He's dead. Lucid is dead. Kingen is still in trouble. Showmaker is alive. P69 flashes in. Goes really, really deep. One more Q. Mohan will die here. The team fighting by Tez is, is really insane, but the smites by Tian are not it. Even I could outsmite Tian back in 2019, right? Wait, Shomaker looking for Jackie Love. Oh, Jackie has to flash here. Tissing 9p as well. Cream is basing, could potentially TP, but is he gonna TP DK against mid tower? Shomaker picked up the Herald. As he was eating in. He cannot, he cannot drive it into that tower, it's not possible from this angle. Wait, now Cream is in trouble. Oh, he's buying a lot of time. He's actually buying a lot of time, but he does not have all 369 is here. He's gonna be tower and no kills. Oh, he gets King in, but no. I mean, this is a chunk. Lucy, meanwhile, took the Drake. He's now joining his team slowly. Moham is getting caught again! But maybe he can turn this. Maybe Moham could potentially turn this. Do they have the damage to kill? To drag him right on back. <laughs> they are throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this dude, and he's still getting away. Cream finally takes the kill. Mo Omega Lulham. Actual Mo Omega Lulham. Cream is catching that wave on top. He has the TP available. And when we see the vision, DK is largely starved of this dragon. And I think their top side is okay, so that might be a team fight as we can see really Damon is grouping. Let's look at Lucid and Showmaker. Can they find a flank on Jackie Love? Showmaker is in game. The Drake will go in favor of Tess. Tess, uh, Tian is going in. Tian is looking. Okay, Lucid choose the Tian. Lucid can always flash away. He flashes away, but he still gets caught. <gasps> Look at King and Flank, though. Jackie Love is in total trouble. What? King and then flash for it? Ain't no way! Ain't no way! King and what are you doing? They are now trying to kill Jackie Love, but they played it quite poorly. <gasps> Aiming with a really great ultimate, but Tian, I think, will be able to be your showmaker. I don't think King is getting away from it, or maybe <laughs> Tian is too. Okay, and it's a uh, three, four for three in favor of Tess. Wow, I mean, crazy team fighting though. I'm so surprised that King decided to not flash on Kalista. That I felt like Kalista was so trolling. I don't know, man. I feel like King and the whole hard troll this fight. Just look at King and this fight. I feel like King could insta flash on Kalista and completely one shot her there on the flank. Like this fight looks really good when Moham goes in. Like look, Moham gets a really really nice go on the chai. But why King is not flashing instantly? I didn't think I didn't think she have insta flashed. Yeah, I mean they are trying to kill Jackie Love, which they do. Everyone is trying to peel for the Sadie carry. Uh, whoa, and then aiming, nice use of the ultimate with the flash there as well. Unfortunately, it kind of cuts him off. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Tian runs into enemy done, MF, did not realize she's still there. Cream, Wait, Lucy, Lucy is getting caught. He has Q though, so he should be fine. Yeah. Spot here, but he has enough time to get away before the rest of top esports Tez is trying to force now the reason why Tez is trying to force is because Damon has no summoner spells and Tez know that they are getting outscaled so they are trying to they are trying to force they are trying to make a fight happen oh my god insane TP look Jackie Love has no summoner spells guys if King and can join this fight look at Showmaker Jackie Love is dead Jackie Love is 100% dead I think this fight is really good for Damon Damon is gonna ace them no Damon's actually gonna ace them look at Showmaker look at Showmaker Showmaker is ha having good now so far it's uh, 2 for 2 but Tian is gonna die Showmaker says ult. Oh. Really great fight by Damon. I feel like Tez is overforcing this match pretty heavily. Every crit chance he gets, he doubles it. But the guy doesn't build crit and one shots anyway. 
isolate him, always looking to beat him down. Oh, and DK man. have earned themselves a Baron. And you talk about CC and one of the answers to Yone. And I do think that now, now, and aiming has been positioning incredibly I don't well. see a way of down well, losing this TP, game, guys. No Yone, Jax, they outscaled. Whatsoever. I thought they were going to look to turn on the TP. I mean, Jackilov is completely down, dead. Caught out here. That's horrible team fighting from top. And now when Kalista is dead, there's, there's really not much you can do, really. Boham and Lucid are the ones tanking up so much of the initial burst. Watch aiming. But the moment that you lose, uh, the moment that you lose Jackilov, like so much of your damage disappears and it becomes easy cleanup as aiming. Did he even take a drop of no. damage in that whole fight? No, aiming was. I mean, there's just a lot of standing goals for DK to just grab, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Lucid, a bit oh, caught. Like caught but he, can tank so much of the he has no flash. Oh, but the ulti on misses, and now Showmaker is using QSS, not ulting out yet. Jax is and 369, and Jax are coming. Wait, Moham is going in really, really deep. I don't know if that's not too deep. Moham now in trouble. No deaths will happen. Moham is 0 6, he's not worth that much gold, so even if he dies, it's whatever. We have a mountain sold this game, so I do think that picking up these uh, drakes would be huge. Oh! No, but okay, no way Jax can kill him, no? Yeah, Creep can just run away. <laughs> Wait! Oh my god, he didn't have flash, he just dabbed his out of it. Away from death. This He'll little bunny. This little little bunny. Front loaded near damage. 2k gold. You know, MR on both these soul laners. There's a lot of HP on both these soul laners. I mean, I feel like it's Kalista is really, so weak really now. I don't know. Aurora is the only channel that can really carry this game. 369, 369, 369, 369, 369. Wait, Tian missed everything. This fight should be insane for Damon. They even have a flank. Oh, uh, Jakulov is, is, is in trouble, but still alive. Wait, King and... <gasps> Showmaker! Showmaker! Holy shit, he didn't do anything. He actually got Foreman Q and Foreman Ult, but he didn't do anything. No kills, but Baron is available. Showmaker used TP and Flash in that fight. Kingen used a Flash as well. We'll see if DK can get back in position in time. I don't even know how did they do no damage. Wait, this is a TP! Kingen! Kingen! Wait, he's out, he's out. Shattering strike. Top esports panicking to protect their AD carry. They're forced off the Baron. So. You could argue that that was a one team fight for top esports in the sense that they got position over the Baron, but the health bars. What is going on in this game? And now Tez loses the tower. Top esports need an and now Damon is the one starting the Nash. Now they want to they want to be the ones fighting. Back onto top as they start the Baron. Beautifully done from DK. Now they're the ones for the ah! top esports to respond. Three six nine against. I know how good is this, guys. Tian is gonna bolt soon. Wait, wait. Tian is getting turned on. Tian, Tian. Okay, flashes out. Dragon people. Seconds, King and Strength Flank. I mean, if Tess can get one more Drake like this, one more Mountain, that would be. <gasps> oh no! It's Lucy and Moham! Oh, but Mako Flash is too late. Mako Flash didn't miss everything. Wait, Mako is dead. What the f? Is that MF damage? That's so crazy, by the way. Do you see that MF damage? He actually wants them. I think Jackie Love gets destroyed. Aiming has ult. Wait, Tian is ulting, but miss! Only Moham gets caught! Moham is gonna die! King N is in! King N is coming! Aiming! Aiming is dead! Ah! Ah! What is going on? How did Aiming get caught? It's all nines for 369 in this one. Is Cassante just the most broken champ? No way, Cassa no, no way Cassante is more broken than... Wait, wait, then Yona. Wait, 369 is basing to TP. Lucid, Lucid, Lucid. 369 is so low, King has three items, guys. Wait, hold, hold, guys, hold, guys, hold. What? Is that? Wait, the, the Nash is dying. The Jacks will live, but Top Esports get another kill, and they get the Baron. Game number two is delivering.
Yeah, Kalista had a lot of spears in the Nashor, so Kalista just used E and then boom. Wow, Cream going W over wall. Ah, they saw him hop into the brush actually. Moham has to flash, Lucina has to flash, Mako flashes. This looks really good by the way. Mako just dies to aiming. And then aiming like goes way too deep on Jakilov. He gets caught, he has to flash. And now this still looks fine. But unfortunately, oh my god, Cassante. Cassante. Ah, Cassante. Ah, oh, Cassante. I mean, Showmaker is playing as Cassante, so I'm sure he just did the copy pasta. Oh my god, the coach is so happy. No, I can't believe this, man. That's Cassante, though. Wow, this Cassante is so tanky. Wow. Oh. Two mountain drakes. Jack Shoran doing Torment, Icebone Gantle, Ninja Tabby, and Chambers. Wait, they're engaging. Jackie Love has no flash. Mako is being ulted out. 369 should stay mid lane. I want to see how much armor Magic Res does that Cassante have. Mostly the armor, though. Wait, Yen. Well, Lucy Discord, Lucy Discord. Lucy Discord. Cream is zoning three people alone. Lucy Discord. Of course, Cream doesn't die because he disappears. And now Cassante is going in. But Cassante is actually taking damage. No, wait. He's not. Guess what? Cassante is not taking damage, guys. Esports looked like they had no shot left, and now they are pushing into the DK base. Showmaker King and an Deep and MF ult when Top. yeah, Amy did not find opportunity. Go, I mean, that's two inhibitors. Showmaker is ulting on cream. Oh, and Cassante gets Amy as well. Amy can move. You cannot do it. You can do Yeah, Damon were. I think Damon were fraud, guys. I actually think Damon were fraud. I mentioned that Damon is potentially the fraud team. Okay, guys, but you know, the, Damon made it all the way to this point by beating only Western teams. And so far, Damon was to every Eastern team. Damon won against Fnatic, then won against FlyQuest. And then lost to LNG 2-0. And now lost to Tess 2-0. I think Damon is fraud.